Fake news. We've all experienced it, the propaganda, frankly, that has kept the UK operating in the interest of the billionaire class who own and influence our news outlets, not to inform us, but to make us think what they want us to think. Independent media wouldn't exist if not for this rampant, consistent dishonesty. Many of the outlets you might be familiar with, Squawk Box, Canary, Evolve Politics, Socialist Telly, etc., have appeared in the last 10 years or so only because enough is enough, right? It's certainly what I think is very much how I came to be playing my small part in that. It's particularly disgraceful, though, not to mention upsetting for those directly affected, but even war coverage isn't being honestly portrayed in our mainstream press. The BBC on Friday played video footage claiming the broadcast showed Russian planes flying over Kyiv. You might have seen it. This was fake news. Those planes were actually Ukrainian, flying in a performative formation over Kyiv as part of a Ukrainian military parade. It wasn't even new footage since it took place in 2020. The BBC have again claimed it was a complete accident that they've used old footage, but it's not the first time. You might recall Boris Johnson Remembrance Day Reefgate scandal back in 2019, where because Johnson appeared resembling a Friday night drunk, his attention elsewhere, fidgeting, going off to lay the wreath at the wrong time and ended up laying it upside down, the BBC switched the footage to him laying a wreath in his role as Foreign Secretary three years earlier in 2016. And it was so blatantly obvious they had done this, not least because the Commonwealth wreath he laid in that capacity is a completely different colour. Former BBC employees have stated categorically neither incident could happen by accident since the relevant footage has to be ordered up from the archives. So somebody knowingly misled the public then and now. And now the Mirror's Pippa Carrera has done similarly. So lauded for breaking so many of the party gate stories, her actions yesterday posting a 10-year-old recruitment bid for the Ukrainian army, claiming it was recent from the Ukrainian Defence Ministry. But given she embedded the video from a tweet made last year, she knew it wasn't recent when she posted it. No due diligence, no checks, just copy and paste journalism for clicks. At time of writing, it is still up. It makes you wonder who at the Mirror wanted Johnson out so badly, and it really makes you wonder how much, long much of it was sat on, given Creer allegedly knew about those parties she loved reporting on so much back in January of last year. Even when it comes to war, though, never mind ordinary domestic issues, our most trusted news outlets absolutely shouldn't be.